Yo, what's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger, and we are back today with episode number 11 of my NCAA 14 Dynasty with the Northwestern Wildcats. And this is the 8th week of the season, as you can see we are back home taking on the Minnesota Golden Gophers in our third conference game uh, of the year as Kane Coulter is going to run a QB option here and get right to about the 36 yard line as you see his stats for the season so far not too bad 98 completions out of 144 attempts and Minnesota's coming into this game with a 3-3 three three record not really a threat on paper as they are 0-2 in the Big Ten they were blown out by both Iowa and Michigan and uh, really mediocre wins against New Mexico State, UNLV, and some other random FCS team, which we all know those wins don't really count. And we're coming off our first conference win of the season, a uh, pretty nice victory against Wisconsin, 31-17. to And as you can see now, we are off to a 7-0 uh, start as Minnesota is just throwing the ball wildly all over the place. And uh, now that I'm kind of remembering this game, because I did play it a few weeks ago, um, Minnesota's offense was pretty god-awful in this gameplay, and you'll, you'll certainly see it. Uh, and so we're still clicking uh, very well on offense, ranked 15th in the country with 32 points per game and 16th in the country with 243, uh, 248.3 passing yards per game. And the defense is still holding up on their end as well. Eighth in the country, only allowing 16 and a half points a game. So uh, let's talk about some upsets. This is a kind of a segment in this series that I've done over the last two episodes or so. And there was uh, quite a few good scores that I noticed happened in uh, week eight. Number five, Miami did beat number 13, North Carolina, 48 to 17. This one was kind of a shocker, and not in a sense that the team that won was shocking, but Louisville is unranked right now. That team has very high hopes with uh, Teddy Bridgewater at quarterback and, and a lot of guys coming back to that team. So they're unranked in this dynasty, but they did beat number 17, UCF, in overtime, 20-17. to Tennessee upset number 18, South Carolina, 31-17. to Number three, Oklahoma beat number 22, TCU 24 to 23. That looked like it was a good game. As you see, Venrick Mark is going to cross the goal line for a 21 to nothing lead. Like I said, we're just handling business in this game as Minnesota just isn't very well. And then number 11, Stanford, who I believe was number one last week and lost, beat number 15, UCLA. So they got back to their winning ways, 23 to 21. Uh, so I mentioned in the last episode also that Northwestern was taking on Syracuse last weekend and uh, I went to a friend's house because obviously, you know, I've mentioned several times that I'm from and live in Syracuse. Uh, we went and watched the game at a friend's house, my wife and I and a bunch of other people. Syracuse got absolutely destroyed. Destroyed. I was uh, secretly rooting for Northwestern there, uh, but they won 48-27. to Kane Coulter had a great game. 100 yards on the in the air and 87 yards on the ground as he's going to uh, get another touchdown on the ground right here and this is just a quick gameplay Minnesota didn't really show much on their end and we took care of business on our end so we are going to improve now to eight and I'm sorry six and one overall as we take a 28 to nothing win over Minnesota the next episode will be against Iowa another Big Ten game I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this series make sure you click that thumbs up I certainly would appreciate it peace